She really had me fooled, Doc. You weren't the only one. Yeah, but I'm the only one who can be held accountable. You know, the thing that really gets me, Air Force is questioning my loyalty. I've, I've dedicated my life to defending this country, you know? I judge like this now. Episode 8 is a wallop, you know? The danger that Hynek has now realized he's brought into his home, I mean, a man gets shot and killed in his house. For Quinn, he realizes that he's essentially been sleeping with the enemy. They are practically destroyed, at, you know, at the top of 209, particularly Quinn. And both are considering leaving the program entirely just because it's just not worth it anymore. But Hynek comes across this incredible case. A plane collided with a UFO over Canadian airspace. Collided? Well, Canadian Air Force, they don't have a UFO program. They asked if we would uh, assist with the investigation. <laughs> it's not like if anyone wanted to check on you, they'd even be able to get a hold of you. Plus, I, uh, I already bought the tickets. One last case, huh? Before we ride off into the sunset. And then over the course of this episode, the irony is sort of this Russian presence in their lives has almost destroyed them, and then yet they encounter what, what they realize to be these Russian pilots, sort of a Soviet UFO program happening on the other side with, these, with, with their enemy. That's Russian. This is a bomber, which means that those two are Russian military. Are you sure? He is now. What the hell you need our help for? I need what was on that plane. So I'm pretty sure it's intact. Because if it wasn't, everything within five miles of here would be destroyed by now. Five miles? That's roughly the blast radius of a, of a nuclear bomb. Are you telling me you had a nuclear bomb on your plane? That is what I'm saying. Yes, and it's still out there. And if it goes off, it will start World War III. They end up having to partner with the enemy, essentially, to save the world and certainly prevent uh, what could be a disaster from occurring. And through doing that, they, it revitalizes them. And they realize how important the work that they do at Project Blue Book is. We just came up here to do our job, sir. Which makes the work you do more important than ever. We need you out in the field. Both of you. Yes, sir. Generals, need you for a moment? We'll see you back at the base. And I love that they start off ready to quit, but yet by the end, they have a newfound commitment to the importance of the work that they do. Certainly poses some interesting questions. It demands further investigation. Well, I guess that means we're back in business. I guess we are, Professor. Project Blue Book, all new, Tuesday at 10 on History.